everybody. My name is Elizabeth Knudsen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Do you love Bath & Body Works products and especially their three-wick candles as much as I do? Then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel by clicking on that big red subscribe button located directly underneath this video, as well as the notification bell right beside it so that you will always be notified when I upload a brand new Bath & Body Works related video to this channel. So before I jump into the details of this particular video, I know I need to address the elephant in the room, which is, Elizabeth, you haven't uploaded a video on your channel in like three months. Where have you been? And my response to that is, you know how life be sometimes. And so I'm really grateful that I have the opportunity now to sit down and film this video, which is my Candle Day 2021 haul. And Candle Day is probably one of my most favorite times of the year to shop for candles. Now, if you haven't heard of Candle Day, it is an annual event that Bath & Body Works does one time a year where all of their Thruvic candles are at their lowest price of the entire year. So you know your girl who loves the Thruvic candles, that is my time to go and to make the purchases. Probably my biggest purchase out of the entire year so that I can add my most sought after candle fragrances to my candle collection. So Candle Day 2021 consisted of a two day event which ran from Friday, December the 3rd through Saturday, December the 4th. If you were going to purchase your candles online, you did have to use a promo code to get them down to the price point of $10.25 each, which I noticed was a 30 cent increase from the price point of $9.95 that was done last year in 2020. This was my first time actually doing an online purchase. I typically would wait and do all of my shopping in the store, but this particular year, I did have the fear of missing out on some particular Candle Day releases. I was fearful that they were all going to be sold out in the stores because I did not have the chance to go to the stores that first day on Friday and instead did all of my shopping on that Saturday. And so I wanted to make sure that I was able to get my hands on these particular scents just in case they all sold out in stores. But it turns out that I didn't even really need to make the online purchase because I was able to find all the scents that I was looking for and that were available online. With that being said, Bath & Body Works did do something a little bit different this year as far as their online purchases. They instituted an online queue, so you had to basically wait in, wait in a line in order to be given access to the website to proceed with your purchases. And so I don't know if that was done as an experiment or if that was done as a way to try and alleviate some of the orders being canceled just from the influx of everybody coming to the website and making their purchases and candles selling out faster than they could keep up with in terms of their online inventory. But what I was most disappointed about was the selection, especially for those who were still hesitant about going to the stores in person because of the ongoing pandemic and not wanting to expose themselves. The overall variety of candles available online was not very impressive in my opinion. There were only a handful, a handful of the Candle Day exclusive releases and that was it and none of that changed from day one to day two. And of course, if you shopped on the second day on that Saturday, they were no longer priced at $10.25. You'd have to pay the full price for the candles because the code only worked on that Friday. So a little bit disappointing. All in all, I didn't need to make my online purchase because I found out that all of the scents that I purchased online were available in the stores that I went to the next day. So I will learn from this year to just wait because I'm sure I will find what I'm looking for in the stores. So all in all, I acquired 28 Three Wick Candles as part of my Candle Day haul. So I'm going to go into detail about all 28 of them really briefly to kind of cut down on the time of this video and to just give you an overall, you know, glimpse into the types of scents that I like and the ones that I will add to the collection behind me. So without further ado, let's get started with our first oddball collection. Now you might be saying, Elizabeth, 
What exactly is an oddball collection? I've never heard of that terminology before. Well, it's just what I say personally describing my candle collection. If you can see the labels of the candles on the shelf behind me, you'll notice that I like to group my candles together based on their particular collections at the time they were released, just so that it's kind of coherent and it looks really nice when they're all displayed. And you know, a candle's gotta have a friend, so I like to try and get multiples within a given collection so that they can all be grouped together on my shelf. Well, these next three candles that I'm going to show you are the oddballs because I only got one of each from either each particular collection or they didn't have a full-fledged collection that they were released with. So without further ado, let me introduce you to the three oddball bunch. <laughs> So the first candle that I want to touch on is the High Pumpkin Pumpkin Spice Latte Candle. Now this candle did release as part of a collection. I believe there was a Wonderfall candle, which was Sweater Weather, and maybe another one. I didn't particularly care for any of the other scents, but I loved this one when I came across it for the first time in the stores. The fragrance notes of Pumpkin Spice Latte are Pumpkin Pie Spice, Freshly Brewed Espresso, homemade whipped cream, and a sprinkling of cinnamon sugar with natural essential oils. The best way that I can describe the overall fragrance of the high pumpkin, pumpkin spice latte candle is if you have ever gone into a Target and the Starbucks is like right there at the entrance and you just smell the coffee. It so captures the essence of the overall scent of Starbucks. And this smells exactly like a pumpkin spice latte that you would get at Starbucks. Now, I am not a coffee drinker, but I love the smell of coffee. I just love how it just makes me so much more awake, even though I'm not actually partaking of any of the caffeine that's in the coffee drinks. Um, they just smell so lovely, and I cannot wait to put pumpkin spice latte underneath my lamp warmer and see if it smells as lovely as as it does when I'm smelling it cold. All right, so our next little oddball candle is going to be in the stars. Now this is a signature scent of Bath & Body Works. This fragrance has been around for a while, and this is the first time that I actually came across in the stars in person as a candle. Now I do have a body wash of in the stars and I love it. The fragrance notes of in the stars are bergamot champagne, night blooming water lily, and pink salted amber with natural essential oils. So the candle matches pretty closely to the body care of In The Stars. It does have that floral essence that you get from the lily fragrance note, as well as a little bit of that muskiness from the amber. Now I don't typically gravitate towards those types of scents, but this one I feel is an overall nice blend and it works great together. I can't say that for Into The Night though. Oh man, I will not be getting another one of those. It is just not for me but In The Stars is really nice, so that one will also be really fun to put underneath my lamp warmer. It did not release as part of a collection unless you're counting Into The Night, and I was not going to get that candle again. I got it once before when I first started collecting candles, and it is just way too strong of a scent for me to tolerate. So In The Stars will have to just sit with either Gingham or my Cucumber Melon candle that I have sitting right there um, with some of the other signature fragrances of Bath & Body Works. That way it has a friend to sit next to on my shelf. All right, and the final oddball candle that does not have another friend is going to be Miss Mary Mimosa. Now look at this stunning jar. I just love the clear jar. You can see this beautiful pigmented green wax. I think it's going to be great underneath my wax warmer just from my experience with other candles in my collection that have a pigmented wax. The fragrance notes of Mary Mimosa are sparkling champagne, red apple slices, and iced sugar crystals with natural essential oils. This candle reminds me so much of the vibe of Bubbly Rosé and all of my other um, sparkly drink fragrances that I have, such as the um, Cranberry Parabellini and the Berry Spritzer that I have down there. Um, Berry Spritzer also released in this particular packaging, uh, but I already have those in my collection and there were quite a few others that released in that particular collection, such as Pink Apple Punch was another one that released with that label and 
I have just about all of those fragrances in my collection already and I did not want to double up. So Miss Mary Mimosa will just have to sit right here in this little space with my other drink uh, collection that I got during Candle Day 2020 last year. So I think it will fit in just fine and I was so glad to come across Mary Mimosa because you typically don't find that fragrance in the stores. It's usually one of the first to sell out. So I was really surprised to find it and happy to add it to my collection this year. So now all of the candles that I am going to show you do have another friend from their collection that I can display with on my candle shelf. So let's start with the Luminary Collection and the Perfect Christmas Candle. Isn't this just stunning? Now if you can look closely, you can see the white colored wax that's in the jar and you can kind of make out the designs of these little trees and the stars so that when you either light this candle up or you put it underneath a lamp warmer, it's just going to light up that design. It's going to look so stunning. So what does the perfect Christmas smell like? Well, let me tell you. The fragrance notes of the perfect Christmas are fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow with natural essential oils. Now, I am not normally one to gravitate towards the pine fragrances, especially fresh balsam. That one is a little bit too strong for my particular palette. But this one, the pine combined with the sweetness of the sugary marshmallow fragrance notes, I think work together splendid. And so I decided to get that one and give it a try underneath my lamp warmer. We'll see just how well that I like it. And this is the second candle from the Luminary Collection. This is Blackberry Cream Frosting. Oh my goodness. When I smelled this candle for the first time, I said, yep, adding that one to the candle day list. And look at the stunning label on this one. This is the design of some snowflakes and it's got sort of the same um, little cutout design. So that again, when you light it up, it's just going to illuminate that beautiful snowflake design. The fragrance notes of blackberry cream frosting are fresh blackberries, sweet vanilla, and topped with bubbly Prosecco with natural essential oils. Now the overall fragrance that I get from blackberry cream frosting is if you took the essence of bubbly rosé with that sparkling element and you just switched it with uh, blackberries. It's a very fruity, sparkly scent and it just smells so delicious. I cannot wait to try this one out under my lamp warmer too. So this next collection I wasn't particularly crazy about, but let's just dive into the first scent, which is going to be this cranberry peach fragrance. I call this the flannel collection because as you can see from the label, it has that nice flannel design. It reminds me of a flannel blanket almost. And the fragrance notes of cranberry peach are sweet peaches, tart cranberry, and sugared musk with natural essential oils. Now when I smell this candle cold, I can pick up on the peaches and a little bit of the musk, but not so much the cranberry. So I'm hoping that when I put it underneath my lamp warmer, that I'm able to pick up on that cranberry scent a little bit more. After all, it is the first fragrance in the name itself. So I hope that it does shine through, but overall it's just a really nice light peachy fragrance in my opinion when smelling it cold. And then the main reason why I decided to get Cranberry Peach to begin with is because of this beauty right here. Welcome Red Velvet Cupcake to my candle collection. Now this one has been out um, for, for a while. I know that Red Velvet Cupcake has released in years past, but I haven't been able to get my hands on it until this year. And look at the beautiful label. I mean, I'm, I'm not crazy about the flannel, but it's not bad either. The fragrance notes of Red Velvet Cupcake are Lush Red Velvet Cake, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Sweet Vanilla with Natural Essential Oils. And this smells exactly like a Red Velvet Cupcake. Cream Cheese Frosting and all definitely would recommend this one as far as smelling it cold. Now we'll have to see how it performs when I put it under my lamp warmer, but it's just amazing when I'm smelling it cold. And the main reason why I decided to get Cranberry Peach as its little friend to go on my candle shelf. So the next collection that I'm going to touch on consists of this semi-translucent opaque jar with a really simplistic label. 
and it is part of the White Barn collection. And the first fragrance is, of course, Peppermint Hot Chocolate. I think that label with the reflective quality is just stunning. You can see the little mug there with the peppermint candy cane in the mug as well. And the fragrance notes of Peppermint Hot Chocolate are Cool Peppermint, Silky Milk Chocolate, and Sweet Cream with Natural Essential Oils. This candle smells exactly like a cup of peppermint hot chocolate. And one of the reasons why I decided to get it is because it made me so reminiscent of my very first Bath & Body Works candle that I ever got and is the very first candle review that I ever did on this channel, which is the chocolate peppermint cream candle right there. Now that particular fragrance I have not seen come out again since 2019 when I originally got it. So I'll have to compare the fragrance notes of peppermint hot chocolate with that candle to see if there are any similarities, but it reminds me so much of that candle and it's just an amazing overall fragrance when smelling it cold. And of course, Peppermint Hot Chocolate had to have a friend. So the other candle that I got from that same collection is the Cinnamon Sugared Pecans candle. And it has this lovely peach looking color jar. And again, the beautiful reflective quality of that label with a little gingerbread man on it. And the fragrance notes of Cinnamon Sugared Pecans are cinnamon sugar, warm roasted pecans, and brown sugar with natural essential oils. Now the overall vibe of cinnamon sugar pecans reminds me a lot of sugared snickerdoodle, which is this candle right here. Of course, the elements of the cinnamon and the sugar, <laughs> they're both there. Um, I don't pick up too much on the pecans element, but definitely the brown sugar and the cinnamon. So I'm really interested to see if any of that nuttiness can come out once I warm it up underneath my lamp warmer. These next two candles that I'm going to show you from the same collection are actually fall candles and I was very surprised to still see some fall candles floating around at some of the stores that I went to, but there were some and so I was very pleased to get the first one in that collection, Sweet Kettle Corn. I love kettle corn. It is probably my favorite type of popcorn, even more so than movie theater butter. And so when I saw this, I said, absolutely. <laughs> the fragrance notes of sweet kettle corn are freshly popped kettle corn, creamy caramel, and sprinkled with sugar and sea salt with natural essential oils. So if you have ever smelled the summer boardwalk or even just the boardwalk candles by Bath & Body Works, sweet kettle corn reminds me so much of that, particularly because of the mixture of the salt and the caramel essences. So that one will be a fun one to put underneath the lamp warmer. And you know, sweet kettle corn has to have its friends. So the other candle that I got from that particular collection that I was able to find was spiced cranberry toffee. Now I'm kind of on the fence about this one because I've heard different things, um, both good and bad. So this will have to be one that I test out for myself to see if I truly enjoy it. Um, smelling it on cold, I do like it. And I think that the lid is very gorgeous as well. You can see those fall leaves. And the fragrance notes of spiced cranberry toffee are rich toffee, fresh cranberries, swirled with caramel with natural essential oils. So again, you've got that caramel element to it. It reminds me so much of if you have ever gotten one of those boxes of assorted chocolates. This reminds me of the particular chocolate that is made of dark chocolate on the outside and then that cranberry raspberry type filling on the inside. So we'll have to see how that translates after it has warmed up to see if it really does keep that consistency of a nice chocolatey cranberry blend like I'm hoping that it will be. All right, this next collection that I'm going to touch on, I believe it is called the Luminary Village. So it's different than the other collection that I showed you earlier in the video, but it actually has a little village <laughs> on it. So this particular fragrance is called Cozy Cashmere. And look at the cute little village. Now the label does not go all the way around the candle. It kind of cuts off there, but you can see that it is a pigmented purple type wax and it's just a stunning little label with a little village. So the fragrance notes of Cozy Cashmere are smooth lavender, warm vanilla, and comforting sandalwood with natural essential oils. 
Now when I smell this candle cold, it reminds me so much of a fresh blanket that you've just washed and taken out of the dryer. And I think that I get that vibe from the sandalwood. It could also be a blend of that lavender in there as well but it just reminds me so much of coziness. So I think that this candle is appropriately named and I'm excited to try it out on my lamp warmer and see if it is just as cozy when it has been heated up as it is when I'm smelling it cold. And so the friend or little partner of Cozy Cashmere from the Luminary Village collection is going to be this Raspberry Mimosa. Look at the stunning label there. Again, it does not wrap all the way around the candle, but you can see the wax on this one is also pigmented to this nice um, pink peachy color. And the fragrance notes of raspberry mimosa are sweet raspberries, rosé, sorbet, and the splash of champagne with natural essential oils. So if you have ever eaten raspberry sherbet, if you take the essence of that taste with a little bit of the essence of bubbly rosé with that sparkling element, that is what the raspberry mimosa candle smells like. It is just so fruity. I love the smell of it on cold, so I cannot wait to put this one under my lamp warmer and try it out. So this next particular collection, I don't know what to really call it except that these are Christmas candles. And so the first one, I got is under the Christmas tree. Look at this stunning label. I do love the gold reflective quality that is on a lot of these labels. Now you might be thinking, Elizabeth, didn't just a few minutes ago you said you didn't gravitate towards the pine fragrances and you are correct. Thank you for listening to me rant. But I did make an exception for under the Christmas tree because again, this particular pine fragrance is toned down based on the other fragrance notes within this particular candle. So the fragrance notes of Under the Christmas Tree are fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves with natural essential oils. So Under the Christmas Tree does have that strong fir pine branch type scent. However, it is not like slap you in your face, fresh balsam. Um, the best way that I can describe that candle, it is way too strong for me. So I do like the blend of the other fragrance notes in there. It's probably either the sage leaves or the juniper berries that are blending it all out so that it is not just straight up pine and straight up tree. <laughs> That's just too much. So I do enjoy that blend and that's why I got that candle and because the next candle needed a friend. So the friend of Under the Christmas Tree is going to be Miss Bright Christmas Morning. Look at the just stunning label. I just cannot with that golden reflective quality and just such a stark difference between the green and the gold and now the white and the silver and the gold and so this is a very different scented candle. Again, you can see the lid there has the beautiful design on top of the trees. And the fragrance notes of Bright Christmas Morning are ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple with natural essential oils. Now, I love the clean, um, citrusy type fragrances. And this is one of those types of candles. It is very much a berry, but still kind of a fresh, clean fragrance. And so I think I'm going to really enjoy that one when I get a chance to put it underneath my lamp warmer. Okay, so this next collection that I'm going to touch on is the Kate's Cozy Collection. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I think it is called. And I got three candles from this particular collection, not just two like I have been showing you as part of this video. So the first scent from that collection that I got is the Toasted Hazelnut Praline Candle. Fragrance notes of Toasted Hazelnut Praline are hazelnut, shocker there, <laughs> toasted marshmallow and vanilla woods with natural essential oils. So I just love this blend of the hazelnut and the marshmallow. 
I do get a little hint of the vanilla woods, like that woodsy undertone, but it's most definitely a beautiful blend of hazelnut and marshmallow. So it's a really nice, yummy smelling fragrance with a little bit of woodsy undertone to kind of get you in that holiday vibe. <laughs> so the next candle in this particular collection that I got is the Blush Poinsettia candle. Now I pronounce it Poinsettia, but I have also heard it pronounced Poinsettia. I did not know that this was how you spell poinsettia because I've always pronounced it poinsettia, like they're poinsettia flowers. They're the kind of flowers that you get around Christmas time. And they even have the poinsettias along the label there. It's just so stunning with the little holly. And that goes all the way around the candle. But yeah, I learned something and it has the nice little blush colored label there. And the fragrance notes of Blush Poinsettia are rose petals, green ivy, and sweet marshmallow with natural essential oils. Now, if you love floral fragrances but don't like candles that kind of hit you in the face with the floral fragrances, Blush Poinsettia is such a nice, soft rose fragrance. It is really nice and soft. And I think it is toned down because of that marshmallow element, that kind of sweetness that takes it from like fresh flowers to just a nice subtle floral fragrance. And I love that so much. So it's a very interesting, very different floral fragrance to add to my collection. And of course, I'm a foodie, so you know I had to throw in a food fragrance in here at some point. And so the final candle from that particular collection that I got was the Vanilla Swirl Brownie Yum, is all that I can say about the fragrance of this particular candle. And it has cute little mittens as its label that go around it like that. Cute little mittens. Three little kittens lost their mittens. <laughs> so, the fragrance notes for Vanilla Swirl Brownie are chocolate cookie crumbles, vanilla bean ice cream, and chocolate drizzle with natural essential oils. This candle is not overly chocolatey. Um, I think that the vanilla sort of tones it down from being like a full-fledged like hot fudge sundae moment. Um, but I also hear that Vanilla Swirl Brownie is a repackage of the Cookies and Cream Milkshake that released during Candle Day 2020. So I do have that candle in my collection. I'm going to have to compare the fragrance notes between this one and the Cookies and Cream Milkshake to see if there are any similarities there. This next collection that I'm going to touch on was part of the Love, Joy, Hope, Peace collection and I only got three candles out of those four, which released because I already have a sugared snickerdoodle, which is right here. That also released as part of this collection, so I did not need to double up on that scent, but I did get the other three. So let's jump into the first one I have here, which is the Peace Candle Iced Raspberry Bellini. This was one of my online purchase candles that I later found out I didn't need to purchase because it was in the stores. So a little embarrassing, but still very glad that it arrived safe and sound. So the fragrance notes of iced raspberry bellini are chilled prosecco, sparkling raspberry, and citrus twist with natural essential oils. So the overall essence of this candle, it reminds me of a sparkling blueberry raspberry type drink. It almost reminds me of like a blueberry snow cone, but a little bit um, more subtle uh, because of that sparkling element. So it's a really nice overall fruity type fragrance. The next candle that I got as part of that collection was the Hope winter peach marshmallow candle and I originally smelled this candle in person as a single wick so when I smelled the single wick candle I knew I wanted to keep an eye out for the three wick version and was so glad that it released as part of the candle day exclusives and this was another one that I ordered online but I could have waited for but again did not want to miss out on this particular fragrance because I thought it was gonna sell out the first day um, the fragrance notes of Winter Peach Marshmallow are Velvet Peach, Vanilla Meringue, and Creamy Jasmine with Natural Essential Oils. It is a very overall lightly scented candle, so I'm very curious to see if any of those fragrance notes are going to come out stronger uh, when I heat it up underneath my lamp warmer because right now it is a very light 
very light scented candle. I can really pick up on maybe the jasmine essence of it and maybe a little bit of the meringue, but not so much the peach as I was hoping but I'm willing to give it a try. And the last candle from that particular collection is the All You Need Is Love Cotton Candy Champagne Candle. And this candle is like the twin of Bubbly Rose when I'm smelling it cold. And the fragrance notes for Cotton Candy Champagne are the first one, Bubbly Rose, <laughs> as sweet strawberry and pink sugar with natural essential oils. So it would be like if you took Bubbly Rose and Pink Fairy Gumdrop and you blended them together. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this candle when I'm smelling it cold. So this next collection that I'm going to touch on, I got three candles from this particular collection. And I believe it is called the Giving Tuesday collection because a lot of these candles started to crop up on the Bath & Body Works website on the Tuesday before Candle Day officially started on that Friday. So the first candle that I got from that particular collection is the Marble Chocolate Cupcake Candle, AKA Give Warmth. And I love this just very simplistic, but also that reflective quality label here. And of course the little hand with the heart. That is so cool, I really love that part of the label. Fragrance notes of Marble Chocolate Cupcake are sweet cocoa, milk chocolate, and topped with vanilla glaze with natural essential oils. This particular candle gives me a hot cocoa and cream vibe, but with a little bit more of that vanilla added in there. You don't get that so much with hot cocoa and cream. So I do enjoy anything food related. So when I saw that, I said, let's add that one to the bag. <laughs> so the next candle from that particular collection that I wanna to touch on is the Peach on Earth, AKA Give Comfort. It's really hard to make out the name there on this camera but it sort of has a similar design for the label. You also have the little hand with the heart there. I just love that element. And the fragrance notes for Peach on Earth are fresh peach, sweet cinnamon, and frosted vanilla with natural essential oils. It's more so of like almost a, um, if you were going to bake peaches in the oven and you sprinkled a nice hearty dose of cinnamon on top of them, that's sort of the vibe that I'm getting from Peach on Earth. So it's a very different peach scent from like the other ones that I have in my collection. So I'm really excited to try that one out and see how it does. And finally, the final candle that I ordered online, but I didn't really need to because I found it in stores the next day, was the Strawberry Sparkler, AKA Give Cheer. Look at this cute little label. I love how the flower, it just sort of lights up in the light there. And of course, you've got the little hand of the heart again. <laughs> the fragrance notes for Strawberry Sparkler are Strawberry Prosecco, a splash of rose water, and vanilla bean with natural essential oils. This is definitely a drink type scent, so it does have that sparkling element. Think back to Bubbly Rose and all of the other drink type candles, such as all of the ones that I have down here. It has that sparkling element to it, but this one's different because it has strawberry. That one's very different. The only other strawberry type scent that I have in my collection is strawberry pound cake. So, and that is more of a gourmand type scent. So I'm really excited to give Strawberry Sparkler a try and excited to see how it does. And we are getting ready to wrap up this video with the final collection of candles from my Candle Day haul. And I saved the best, in my opinion, for last. This is by far probably my favorite collection out of all of the candles that I got this year. And it is because of the cute labels. I like to call this the Christmas Critters Collection. I don't know if that is the official name for this collection or not, but that's what I'm calling it because I mean, look at the cute little critters. So this is Frosted Cranberry. This is another one of those scents that tends to come back every single year. And we have a cute little fox in a sweater and scarf on this particular label of Frosted Cranberry. And so 
I'm so excited to finally add this signature staple scent to my collection with that cute little representative. Look at him, he's so happy. It's the fantastic Mr. Fox. He's so ready to represent the Fox Clan for my candle collection. So if you don't know the fragrance notes for Frosted Cranberry, they are iced cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, and tonka bean with natural essential oils. The overall fragrance that I'm getting from Frosted Cranberry when smelling it cold is just straight up fresh raw cranberries. It is just a nice, lovely scent. And I also failed to mention this beautiful, stunning snowflake lid. You can see my Christmas tree there reflected in the background, but I love these lids. They're so stunning. Our next Christmas critter representative is going to be the Patronus, the stag <laughs> for the flannel um, Christmas critter scent. And I just love the different colors. Now you can kind of see the flannel type background for this particular candle. It kind of reminds me of the flannel design from those other two candles that I showed earlier in this video. So it's kind of got that vibe going on here and it's definitely suited for the name of this particular candle, which is named flannel. So that was kind of a cute element. Again, you have that beautiful snowflake lid and the fragrance notes of flannel are fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk with natural essential oils. Now, I do not typically, again, gravitate towards the musky, more masculine type fragrances, but flannel is a much softer musk fragrance. Um, it's just a nice blend of those fragrance notes. So although it is more of a musky type masculine fragrance, I can enjoy it and appreciate it. And of course, it's the cute little representative of the Patronus, the stag, <laughs> the little deer up on front. So, you know, how could I say no to that? <laughs> Our next representative for the Christmas candle collection is Mr. Big Booty Bear with the Marshmallow Fireside Candle. Look at his big booty and he's wearing a sweater, my goodness. So Marshmallow Fireside is one of those candles that again, it comes back every year, but it's one that I just didn't feel like I needed to have it in my collection until this year. Obviously, how could I say no to that representative right there? The fragrance notes of Marshmallow Fireside are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber with natural essential oils. Now again, you have that beautiful snowflake lid and the vibe that I get from Marshmallow Fireside is exactly what the name of the candle would have you think. It reminds me of roasting a marshmallow at a campfire. So it does have a bit of that um, fireside element with the burnt wood, the ashiness, but also the sweetness of like a marshmallow roasting over the fire. It's just a beautiful blend. In years past, it seemed like it would be too much of the ashiness and I couldn't pick up on that marshmallow as much, but this particular pour is amazing. I love it. And of course, I love the little representative in the big booty bear. <laughs> And now the final candle from my Candle Day 2021 haul. Yes, this is the 28th candle from my entire haul. And of course, I saved the best for last, in my opinion, because of the Christmas Critter representative from this particular collection. Look at Mr. Nutty. Look at him. It's a little squirrel wearing a sweater and a hat holding a present. I just can't even, he's so cute. This is the Christmas Cider Candle. I originally came across this particular scent in 2020. It came in this stunning luminary type jar. I believe it was part of this collection right here and I missed out on it. And I was so sad that I missed out on it because it was a beautiful jar. It was a great scent that I wanted to add to my collection but it seemed like when Candle Day happened, they, there was just none to be found. They all sold out. I guess it was a really popular scent in 2020. And so, although I was sad that I wasn't able to get it then, I was super excited to find the scent again 
with this particular label. So, you know, patience is a virtue. Sometimes you just need to wait and look at the beautiful label that I got this year with Mr. Nutty on it. So the fragrance notes of Christmas Cider are mulled cinnamon, crushed clove, creamy nutmeg, and simmering cider with natural essential oils. So when I smell this candle cold, it reminds me so much of one of my favorite holiday drinks, which is warm apple cider. Now I say holiday drinks because you typically can't find it in the prepackaged gallon jugs any other time of year. So you either have to um, get it in those little packs or you have to just know how to make it. And I'm not talented in that regard, so I don't know how to make it. So Christmas cider smells exactly like warm apple cider, if that's the type of thing you love. And that is it for my 2021 Candle Day haul. As you can see, I already have some of the candles put up on my candle shelf behind me, and I'm sure I will be doing some reorganizing as the days move on and as I move things around, putting different scents on my lamp warmer. But for the time being, I'm so excited about all the candles I was able to get and add to my candle collection. If you liked watching this video of my 2021 Candle Day haul and a brief overview of all 28 cents that I was able to get and add to my candle collection, then show me some support by clicking on the like button located directly under this video. Also, I would love to hear your feedback on Candle Day 2021 for you. Were you able to shop the sale? And if so, what fragrances did you get? Did we get any fragrances in common? You can let me know your thoughts by leaving me a comment down in the comment section below. And finally, if you enjoyed this video overall and you'd be interested in watching more Bath & Body Works related videos similar to this one in the future, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button located directly underneath this video, as well as the notification bell right beside it so that you will always be notified when I upload a brand new Bath & Body Works related video to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting me and my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!